Before my ship leaves, I'm planning to check out the port town of San Miguel. I just wanted to walk around and kind of get a sense of uh, San Miguel, which is hard to do because, as you can see, there's no one here. I guess it's siesta time. I do need a hat, though. That's neat. These are like as dry as taco chips. That's cool. Very nice. Well, let's go see if we can buy this one. I think this one looks cute. Feels good. Shady. Hola. Hola, buenos dias. Como se dice? Sombreros. 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 ¿Cuánto? El sombrero acá nosotros lo estamos dando, siempre lo damos más barato, de 15 dólares. 15 dólares, I only understood. Sí. I was like, oh, I don't really speak Spanish. Sí, it's a, the price is uh, for 25 dollars, yes. always. Yeah. But I give you here the best price. How much you want to give? How much do I want to give? Yeah. I, I'd actually like to give you 10 dollars. 10 dollars. Yes. How, how about 13 dollars for you? 13, how about 12? Yes. We show, have to make it even. show me the money. Show you the money. Show me the money. <laughs> okay, Tom Cruise. I give you the deal for you, okay? Yes. So, and I think dose, right? Dose, just. It's perfect. Yes, it's for all tourists come here. Yes. Is it cheaper than Walmart? Yeah. Right here. <laughs> I'm better than camera. Ah, uh, no matter where I go, everyone's a comedian. And no, I'm not taking the tag off my hat. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, here we are and has a friend with a great restaurant. I love the chicken tacos. <laughs> yes, it's my favorite for me. That's other stuff. Different, different things. And a cousin oh. with a shop with the best prices too. Now what kind of material is this? This is that very interesting. That one is a uh, fish bone. This is fish bone? Fish bone, yes. And do people make it right here in Cozumel or in, in Mexico? In Cozumel, Mexico, yes. Okay. Cozumel, yeah. So what do most tourists buy when they come here? Something for, for a gift, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, for true. the people, for the United States. Yeah. Blankets, t-shirts, I guess souvenirs. I can't imagine buying a blanket when it's 95 degrees out. It's but you, hot. But you're right here. Yeah. But United States to go. What? Oh, yes. Everybody <laughs> in the same way is uh, nine feet. Nine yeah. feet of snow? Yeah. Oh, snow, that's yeah. just silly talk. We don't There's get that much There's somebody saying me. <laughs> we <call> that. <laughs> that's right. So I was trying to find a more authentic Mexican experience. Cozumel just, it is what it is. It's a great touristy place. I mean, so many people come here. But then I stumbled upon this, the plaza. You know, people are sleeping, taking a siesta. There are couples holding hands, kids playing, getting an ice cream. And so I love that. I love seeing real people. to get back on the carnival inspiration. Uh-oh. You'll be relieved to know that I did actually make it onto the right ship, which is great because I've been looking forward to this next event all day. <laughs> it's not artificial, we're coming back to eat. <laughs> Tell her it's real. And I'm not the only one. Probably the strangest thing that you will encounter on the cruise is the Midnight Buffet. There's all these food sculptures and carvings. And what's really interesting is that before they actually open up the buffet to eat, uh, you are allowed to come in and first take pictures of it. So like at 11.30, they open up the Midnight Buffet and people see she's gonna take a picture, right? So watch, watch, watch. Here she goes, she's lining up the shot. She's lining up the shot, there she goes. Do you want to get in there with that? And I can take a picture of you with the fruit. Oh. Right. Would you like a picture of the fruit? There, there we go. Okay. And say cheese right next to the cheese sculpture. Cheese sculpture. And, and so the people here, I mean, there, there's reverence for the food here. I mean, reverence for deviled eggs. Reverence for beautiful melon ball sculptures. I mean, look at that. My melon baller has never seen anything like that. Now I know what to do with it. It's just gorgeous. It goes on and on. And again, no one's touching it. It's really interesting. It's just everyone's looking at them like... Well, I'm not going to say a funeral, but that's kind of what it's like. <laughs> Look 
at that piece of cake. Just be like, but it's not 12 yet, so I can't touch the cake. This is like an altar. Like literally on my wedding day, I walked up to something similar as this. <laughs> That is amazing. Look at this. These are like sunflowers, but in the middle is an apple, and then I don't know what that is. What is this that are making the petals? It's the petal is the apple we have in the center. Yeah. And the color we put is a food color, yellow food color. Oh, so this is apple as well. So it's yeah. slices of apples yeah, no. curled up to make the petals. Yeah. That is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Come Did here. you do that? Well, definitely. We all do it together. You... We work it out as a team and we bring it up together. Oh. You really can play with your food. I think that's what we're learning here. And I know you're supposed to wait until midnight, but they're not going to miss one apple, huh? I'm not normally one for getting myself soaking wet, but even I was tempted by this. The Carnival Inspiration has its very own water park on the top deck. It's definitely a favorite with all the kids. Now, you've been down the water slide, I take it, because you're wet. Yeah. All right. Wait, do you go on the four-story water slide, that tall one, or is that too big for you? No, I can go on that one. You can go on that one? I go. Oh. And it doesn't make you scared? No. Really? Well, it is my last day. And if those kids can do it, so can I. But now that I'm up here, I've got second thoughts. Four stories high, and the ship makes it seem even higher. Here goes nothing. relaxation, and I've saved the best till last. Okay, Sam, I want you to lay down with your face up, all right? Face up? Yes, please. Getting the aromatherapy seaweed wrap, and the seaweed wrap really, it detoxifies, right? Yes. The whole system of your body will be relaxed, oh, wow. including your muscles. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, that feels good. Now we're getting to the good stuff, the seaweed. Okay. okay I'm gonna put now the seaweed mask over your arm, all right? Oh, so it's a mask. Yes. I was wondering if I was actually gonna be wrapped in seaweed. Yes. Like a little piece of sushi, but I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it's yes. gonna be covered in green slime. Yes. Which is, it's yes. fine with me. It's really okay. Ah. It feels slimy and warm, but I like it. I'm not sure how I look right now, but I really don't care, because it feels great. Can you that? Yes. You're wrapping me in plastic? Yes. What is that do? It is just for detoxification. Okay. Wait, do I want toxification? No, I think she means detoxification, which I could definitely use. Are you comfortable? Yeah, that looks fantastic. <laughs> like a mummy. I'm being mummified. Either a mummy or a seaweed burrito, actually. <laughs> but I still don't care how I look. Okay, I feel ready. amazing. Wow. This really is a wrap. What's that? It's a flotation bed. Oh, here comes the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is so neat. Literally, like, the hard part of the bed just disappeared, and now it's all of a sudden a water bed. Oh, that's what see. <laughs> that is great. Oh, that feels amazing. 